stay tuned for air gun protection. <laughs>
course, on camera, you never shoot as good as you normally do. Let's see here. Shot number two. Oh, remember, we're going for grouping here. Shot number three. We're about, um, we're almost 20 yards out. We're really close. 19 and change. But it gives a nice perspective. That's shot number three. Shot number four. Notice when I'm loading, I keep my hand on the barrel. That's for safety reasons. And that's four. And let's see what we got with shot number five. And there you go. Not a bad grouping. This is a terrific gun with a terrific trigger. Let's move on to the next segment. Okay, we're going to do a quick trigger test on our Diana. AMO3. These triggers are fantastic. These come uh, standard with the T06 trigger. It's incredible. So let's reset our little trusty Lyman trigger gauge and see what we get. One pound, three ounces. I didn't, honestly, I barely adjusted this trigger, but you got a one pound trigger on a brake barrel. That's pretty amazing. These are terrific triggers. Yeah, you can't beat the T06, that's for sure. Let's move on to our next segment. Okay, what review wouldn't be complete without a little bit of plinking? So we got our AM03. We're going to try, um, we're approximately 40 yards back from our target. I can show this to you if you look up close from where we're at. That's what we're going to be shooting at, those little steel targets. But like I said, we're about 40 yards back. So let's see how well our AM03 does from this distance. All right. Well, a little piggy. And we are shooting the uh, JSB 14.35 uh, grains. So let's see. How about a little egg? Yeah, like that. And how about <clears throat> Another little egg. There we go. Like I said, we're um, approximately 40 yards back. And this Diana, this is just beautiful. The trigger, the whole process is just. Yep. Let's uh, see if we can eliminate that last little egg there. And, oh my goodness, that's a miss. That was a miss on my part. Not too windy, a little bit of a breeze. Let's try this again. And, there you go. That's our AM03 at about 40 yards. Stay tuned, and we'll wrap this up. And now for our conclusion. The Diana AM03, the Stealth NTEC 22. What can I say? You saw the performance of this gun. It is terrific. It's got the T06 trigger, which is completely adjustable. And basically, this right out of the box, as you saw, was, was breaking under two pounds. But it's a terrific trigger and completely adjustable. Um, <clears throat> you've got your match grade barrel, and you can tell by the accuracy, it's very, very good. This actually comes with your bullseye, the um, ZR scope mount, which uh, takes the impact um, out of the scope. Not that there's much, because this is a very, very smooth shooting gun with a very minimal recoil. you got to love the cheek rest. This is nice and adjustable. It's a composite stock, but and then it has the nice soft rubber inlays, too, which is really good. Now, I added the uh, Picatinny rails and the bipods because I just love shooting off those. Most of the shooting that I do is just target practice and plinking. So I prefer to rest it and just be um, completely 
right on spot when it comes to accuracy. That way I'm doing the best I can because the gun will do what it needs to do. You just have to do your part. Um, again, I said I paid uh, probably close to $500 for this gun. Um, it was worth it, for, especially when you consider you get the scope, the, uh, the scope mount. Um, and and the case with it, and it's a, just a terrific. You got to remember, this is a German-made gun. It's all made in Germany, which and it's terrific. The tolerances on it are fantastic. It's very smooth cocking, and uh, the cocking effort. Yeah, I think it's about 30 pounds, only about 30 pounds. So, and the overall gun um, weighs a little over eight pounds, and that's including the scope. So it's not a very heavy gun. We are getting about 16 foot-pounds of energy out of it. That's realistically, and uh, that we tested that with because we were getting about 700 feet per second with the um, uh, field target trophy, the 14.66 grade pellets. Um, it likes the JSB pellets a lot, the 14.35. Um, I shot off camera. I shot about a, um, point, a 2.8 center to center, or 2.8 of an inch center to center groups with this thing at 20 yards so it's definitely a good shooter so this German gun it's getting five stars as well this this is very towards your top end of the echelon when it comes to break barrel air guns um, this is definitely one towards the top um, Diana makes some terrific products but this one is just it's, it's just a, a nice little package so this one's five stars so with that Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Airgun Detectives. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. Uh, we'd enjoy some feedback if you want to give us some feedback. You can also hit the little bell, and that will remind you uh, each time I come out with a new video. And I try to come out with one about once a week, so it depends on uh, how much time there, there is to put this stuff together. So again, stay tuned for Airgun Detectives, where we take the mystery out of the airgun.